Hey guys, check out these beautiful chords. These are the beautiful, wonderful spread triads, and in 10 minutes or so, I sincerely hope you'll know them too. Let's go. It all starts with a simple trick. This is C major, C, E, G, and all I'm doing is raising the octave of this E from the fifth string to the third string like this. So everything in this lesson will be demonstrated on the sixth, fourth, and third string. This is C major. In numbers, which is most important, and general, one, five, three. Lowering the three, C minor. Lowering the five, C diminished. And to evolve the uh, inversions, it's very simple. Look at that thing, uh, one, five, three. And simply one goes to five, one goes to three, sorry. Uh, three goes to five, and five goes to one. So that explains what happens on each string. So the string that has the one will have the three, E. The string that has the five will have the one, C. And the string that has the three will have the five. Bring me here. One, uh, three, uh, one, five. And now turn it to minor. And now lower the five, and it's diminished. And now same uh, way to evolve the inversion. Instead of three, five, one, we will actually get five, three, one, which is this. And now to minor, now to diminished. Okay, so once you have these nine shapes, here's a very good uh, exercise I recommend. What I'll do is I'll start left to right on second inversion, and I will play major, minor, diminished, and then move to the next inversion, like this. Please play with me. Okay, now we've created the shapes. And now let's do all inversions of each chords. Three Cs, three C minors, and three C diminished. Okay, that's very important as well. Now let's play a diatonic series of the chords of C major, and I'll start in root position on A minor, because I don't want to use open strings, and I'll play all degrees. And I'll do the same from the first inversion on E minor. And I'll do the same in second inversion, starting on C.
Okay? That's a diatonic series. Very recommended exercise. And then I'll try to play a song in voice leading. In this case, eight bars of uh, All the Things You Are. F minor, B flat minor, E flat, uh, A flat, D flat, and G and C. And voice leading means that I will keep common uh, notes in both chords in the same location, like this. Okay? These are all very, very useful exercises, I believe. And what I recommend is really playing a lot of uh, voice-led songs with this. It's really, really helpful. And I would also learn how to connect a single inversion uh, uh, vertically as well. So, for example, I'll play C, F, and B flat, just move string sets. It's always good to know uh, these things on other sets. And now for some goodies for the end. First of all, there's an amazing, amazing song called Dido's Lament, which I recommend you listen to. It's from an old uh, opera, like from the 15th or 16th century, I believe. Beautiful. <laughs> Now check out this. Here they come. Okay, so that's a beautiful thing I really recommend you listen to. It's just beautiful, very touching. Here's another quick goodie, a trick I love. Take your spread triads and move the inner voice, meaning a string four in this case, and just add a chromatic approach to it. It sounds like this. All things you are will sound like this. Okay, it's a really beautiful trick. And finally, let me play a sequence I love. Let's call it a mystery sequence and see if you can figure it out on your own. One more time. Okay, guys, these were the wonderful, wonderful spread triads. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this serves you well. Feel free to ask me questions and take the best of care. Bye-bye.